Next, we'll start with the installation of SGConfig. Basically, uh, in the installation is we run the setup.exe and the installation of sgconfig started. Okay, so um, sgconfig is a, is a software that consists of uh, uh, multi-layers and uh, as such the installation of it uh, will involve the checking of all your SQL setup and your uh, uh, component setup so at this point uh, as you config is checking the sql setup once all the checks are done then the uh, installer uh, installation will prepare the as you config by initializing the files okay and in this screen you'll press next and you would uh, review the terms and conditions once you have finished reviewing the terms and conditions if you agree with it you would check the accept terms and conditions and click next in here and uh, you can select either custom or uh, minimal setup in this case we will go custom setup right and click next um, you will be provided with a list of options for installation and it's up to you to select the required uh, installation options and well, we're going to leave it for default setup and click next now at this point it has prompted us that uh, certain prerequisites are not available on the machine which we have to install and uh, then continue uh, the installation Of course, if uh, SQL is installed on this machine prior to attempting this full install, um, this step would have been uh, skipped and uh, it would have progressed uh, directly to installing sgconfig. at this point uh, it's requesting the directory where to install sgconfig so we're gonna just put it in the default sgconfig directory and then you click next click next again and the installation of sgconfig is starting after installing all the required uh, pre-components for uh, the proper uh, execution of sgconfig Okay, so uh, as you can see, we have uh, installed the D400 device editor and uh, now it's installing the offline configuration component. Um, also another great feature of SGConfig is the logic links wizard, which allow for integration of our uh, IEC logic links compliant uh, application and uh, also we have uh, seen the installation of the IEC 61850 uh, one special feature of sgconfig uh, is that it can allow you to do 61850 configuration online and offline so uh, you can attempt your configuration offline and then uh, download it when you're close or in close proximity of the device and uh, at this point uh, all the modules that support the D20 and the iBox are being installed 
right? Uh, and uh, as you can see, we have installed the D400 uh, offline editor package. And uh, all the documentation is uh, related to the products that have been installed. Okay, and uh, so the, the installation is complete. Click finish, and that's it. Uh, AJ config should be up and running at this point.